So welcome back to video number two, which is platform comparisons. And the reason why this is so important is because the problem and the reason why most people fail at specific social platforms is they enter that platform thinking that they can use the what they do on Facebook on Instagram or what they do on YouTube on Instagram. But the reality is that you are entering a totally different culture. So imagine entering a totally different culture and trying to do something that works in a different culture. That's not going to work, right? So you need to know the differences and you need to make sure that you're in the right mindset before you actually move in. So did you know that there's a big difference between Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram? Well, let's talk about that. So knowing how they behave, how users behave, how they expect you to behave and their expectations of you are important. All right. So that increases your sales, your success rate on all that. So this is where it's easy to fail as often. You know, we enter a specific culture, like I said, that has certain expectations and not following these rules just gets you avoided or seen as a spammer. So you do not want to be seen as a spammer or be seen as an outsider. You want to be seen like you are part of the culture. All right. So that's what I'm trying to get at here. So let's talk about the differences. YouTube people go here to learn how to do something. So you got a lot of DIYers or people who like to do it things themselves. Like say, for example, you break something on your wall. You need to learn how to patch it up. You go on YouTube, you learn how to do things. Plus people go there to kind of de-stress. They like to watch entertaining videos. They like to watch, you know, people singing or people dancing or learn how to do something basically. So that's what YouTube is. You can't really take that same concept and bring it over to Instagram because it's totally different, right? Facebook, Facebook is a great place for people to see what's happening, to discover what is happening in the world what their friends are doing, what people that are, have similar interests are doing. They can join groups and all of that. So it's all about discovery. All right. So many different ways of discovery. Now, Instagram, on the other hand, is where people come here to get inspiration, to get ideas. So they might have discovered something on Facebook, they, but they want to get more ideas about it from Instagram. So if you'll notice, Instagram is a platform with a lot of beautiful, aesthetically pleasing images. So that's another thing you want to make sure that you have really aesthetically pleasing images. So if you're not a person that create really good images, you're going to need to have a program to do that. And we'll talk more about that later on. You can use these programs to create beautiful looking quotes, beautiful looking images and all that. But that's something to keep in mind. But people come here to get ideas. They tend to follow brands. They want to know more about the brand, right? They want to follow their favorite celebrities. They want to follow the lifestyles. They want to see what's happening. So I'll give you some examples and concrete situations that you can actually get a better idea of how all of this works. But really what I'm trying to set you up for is success and set you up for the right mindset so that you move in and you're able to close more sales, close more leads, generate more followers and fans. And that's the whole goal at the end of the day. Now, Instagram and Facebook have very different audiences. Now you'll notice now that Facebook has bought out Instagram, but they, they still have very totally different audiences. Something that works on Facebook, may not work on Instagram. So just keep that in mind. Different platforms, even though something works there, doesn't necessarily mean it's going to work at Instagram. And I'm going to show you how to make sure that you get things working and all that. Now, like I said, you'll notice that Instagram has a lot of aesthetically pleasing photos. So you'll need to make sure that you uh, focus on that and make sure that you show that your company, your brand and all that looks really, really nice and appealing. Now, here's a little tip. 
on your Instagram profile, when people go to the Instagram profile, they're going to see about a, a few images and people will normally judge you based on the first nine photos in your profile. And based on that, they will decide to stay or they will decide to leave. So you got to make sure that you choose your best nine photos forefront. So when somebody comes to your Instagram profile, they see the best of the best, right? All right, so now that we've talked about that and now you have a better idea of how Instagram works, uh, let's jump on in and go to video number three and talk about how to start out on the right foot.